Okay, Jaden's here again. We're going to try again uh, counting up pi. I believe now Jaden will be reciting pi or writing pi to how many? Well, I'm going to try 850. I'll go as far as I possibly can. Okay, 850 decimal places. Best of luck to my friend. Off you go. getting mighty small. Oops.
the other day when I imported this into the computer because I was holding it, it was shaking like this. Yeah, the trouble is a good idea. Um, the other thing I did as well, it ran straight into, because I installed the codex on, for, the, for, the, for this version of MPEG on both the laptop and my desktop, when I imported it, Premier read it. So Razor, Razor, each end of the of Jaden writing, I managed to increase it tenfold speed. So just seeing it. Took, yeah. the, um, took the, the voice out of it as well. Because yeah. I didn't really You've got to. Yeah, otherwise it would sound like you and I. Yeah. Like mm. that. Sound like cartoon beast. Sound like chipmunks. Um, but it worked really well, and that was just seconds of work, so. Oh. Cut to the floor if otherwise the glare. Um, the other thing I'll. Yeah, there you go. And the other one as well. The other thing that I'll do is find a good song. Um, a good song about numbers. Can you find one? Oh yeah. Good. Absolutely. Good, 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 good. There's a song by Herman's Hermes, is it? Don't know much about algebra. <laughs> <laughs> That's not bad. Not bad. Have you heard of this song? Oh. It's the top. What is it? Would be like me asking... You asking me if I know a song in popular music would be like me asking you if you know a classical song. Oh, yeah. Sure. Because I know you yeah. have an encyclopedic knowledge. Sure, yeah. Change pens, Jaden, it's yeah. getting a bit tight. Well, I dare say I think in CTHS, the one who have most knowledge about classical music is... You. Yes, I easy. think so. Easy. easy. Um, I think Chris Mortimer gave you a run for your money. Uh, he's not into classical. I see, no, he's know. more more contemporary. Hmm. I think now, a person with greatest knowledge of contemporary music in the school, is either Felton, Laird, or me. Felton, yes, could be Felton. Laird. Yeah. I'm only interested in classical music. Hmm. But um, I've heard rum I've heard rumours of your uh, of your classical CD collection. Hmm? I've heard rumours about your classical CD collection. Apparently, it's impressive. Yeah. Uh, I have multiple copy versions, different versions of my favorite music. What different orchestras, different conductors? Yeah. Or different different um, artists. Say my favorite is Rachmaninoff, piano control number two. Mm -hmm. I have Rachmaninoff himself playing that. That is a rare collection. Rachmaninoff plays Rachmaninoff. You reckon you'd know how to do it, wouldn't you? Mm. You reckon you'd know how to do it? Oh, I can't play music, but I can only sing. I have been a soloist in the choir. Please don't, I've got a camera on here. <laughs> <laughs> but you are going to strip the sound away, the audio. I'm not sure that I will now. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yes, the audio is gone, that's why I'm talking. Yeah, that's why. I was taking video last night of um, Rebecca and Melissa and Jessica. And I kept my mouth shut the whole way through because I wanted to keep the audio, but it's just a, you know, the 10 month old gap. <laughs> I had a turn table that, in, that can increase the speed by 10%. Even if I increase the speed by 10%, the sound is just funny. Only by 10%. Yeah, oh, pitching, yeah. And pitch. when, I was, when I was out DJing, we, um, some of the, the CDs that we used also allowed for pitch control and as you pitched up it got higher but um sorry for the speed control but they also had pitch control as well so as you got faster the pitch stayed the same so if the song was in G minor or G or A or B or whatever it would stay in that key as you got faster and faster. Oh, how can you do how can you do it? Oh, it's sampling off a CD, it's digital data, just the same way as you do it on the computer. Okay. And samples yeah, in the memory. It's just a filter that's applied to the sound. Yeah, I suppose uh there's not too many things that digital technology cannot do now. Exactly right. Yeah. Um, you've seen, I'm sure you've seen um, programs like Acid Music and Soundforge. These programs will take a note, take one note in out of an orchestra and can adjust that one note up or down so it fits into the chord. Yeah. So that's, that's all it's doing basically. Yeah. It was doing as a whole, which is that range of sound. Yeah. Uh, I have seen some software that you can just, I can hum a note and then they create chord. <laughs> it's a mm, the, boom, uh, da, mm. Then you can make music. It's amazing. 
you know, traveling to Haddon? Okay, I'm getting close. I'm nearly there. I'm up to about 700 and something, I think, now. Okay. Have you got your questions written down this time? Do you think we can pop it on to the shampoo before the end of the year? See so how we go, shouldn't be a problem. Yeah. Good then. He's got to work out a song. <sighs> Revenge of the Nerds, perhaps? Hmm? Revenge of the Nerds? <laughs> Considering then, what is it, a week, he's gone from 600 to 800, that's pretty impressive. Yeah, that's impressive. But I, it's a bit of concern that he channeled all this energy into this matter now. But lucky it's end of time. Hmm. Imagine it is during the middle of I, I think what we need to do is challenge him over the holidays to get to 2000. I think he can do that. It's I, impressive in any way. It should be pretty good to induce in other arena. What? Eliminating global warming? <coughs> like, actually, use, use the play poker. What? Well, gambling? Actually, the memory work that Jaden's getting here will assist him when it comes into the future. So, I'd say for a year eight student, this is a really good idea. Carrying on. In the year nine and year ten, development of the memory so, so, uh, so well as this will assist in retain learning in the uh, senior school, so I'd encourage it. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. But the trouble is, you don't need terrific memory to do maths or IT, do you? It's more in logical deduction. No, well, for both, I mean, you need to remember the forms that you're using, how you're going to apply them. That's, that's the knowledge part. But um, I, don't know, I think in IT there is good need for memory, a list of where to, where to find stuff, how to apply stuff, how to use different things. Mm -hmm. But having said that, my experience working with those kids who've got an extremely high UAI, 99.5 plus, they all share something in common. They have no common sense. Excellent memory. They all have excellent memory. They have no common sense. You go 850 decimal places applied. Unbelievable. Okay, do you mind write how many decimal places on the board now? Okay. Is your okay? Yeah, that's fine. Uh,
Okay. Do you mind stand next there? Huh? Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. That is good. Okay. A little bit closer to, the, to your left. Yeah, please. Thank you. Good. Okay. I have to make one more. Where's your list? My list of fights right here. That's got a thousand on it. I was trying to yep. memorize it all except unfortunately quite. Okay, time to ask some questions. Okay, do you want me to stand there? You stand in there, absolutely. And I have the list, so I'm gonna be the one to say now when you ask the question of how well how he how he's learned it so many places. I got the list here. I'm going to go like this and say, right, the list is 092183 What's the, the 10 before, the 10 after? So, okay, so can you repeat that? No, because he's going to ask questions first. Okay. Okay, Jaden. Speak up, Mr. Tom. Uh, well, congratulations. You have done very well. Uh, since last week, you have increased by how many decimal places? Um, let's see. Let's see. Last week it was 660. Now it's 850, so about 190. Okay, now, what prompted you to start this exercise off in the first place? Well, basically what happened was I was sitting on my computer and I didn't know what to do and I thought, hi, I don't know much about Pi, so I went to a website and thought maybe I can memorise a little bit of it. So I started and just went from there. Okay, now you have a very good knowledge of Pi now. Yes. What else, apart from those 800 something decimal places, what else have you learned about Pi? Okay, basically it's a transcendental number, meaning that it will never ever repeat. Mm -hmm. And that, of course, it um, is the special number which you use to calculate the circumference of a circle. Mm -hmm. Also, you were going to say something? Uh, yes, Do you, name, you mentioned that it's a special number. Repeat. A, a transcendental number Good. is a number that never repeats itself or okay. ends. Do you know any other numbers of the family? E. E. Good. Do you know... E, what E is? E is the golden ratio. Um, close. It's not the golden oh, sorry, ratio. It's golden, related to. Sorry, not the golden ratio. Do you know any E to how many decimal places? No, sorry, I've just been concentrating on pi because I thought if I if I go to E, I might jumble them up and it'll just confuse me. Okay, all right, good. Now, um, what do you think this would help you towards your study, your learning? Well, I think. Maybe it would help me improve my memory skills and also methods of memorising because I probably I can use the same methods to memorise this as to memorise different things such as like study notes and stuff like that. Okay. Where will you think of yourself will be in ten years' time? You mean in the pie? No, just the... starting off from here. What you think? What you will be? Well, I might be. Um, I might be an actress or a statistician, possibly. I could. I was. I'm interested in the area of computing and also mathematics. So. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, Mr. Top may be a bit disappointed at that. Ah <laughs> uh, well. Ah uh, well. Another nerd bites the dust. Changed from IT to well, more mathematical thinking, now. I was thinking maybe I could be an IT person or I could be an actress or something in that general area. I'm going to read about it. Okay, now, I think Mr. Todd may try to test your memory right here. Before we do, can you tell us how do you remember so many decimals? Okay, it's a special method I have. I'll actually, I'll show it on the whiteboard. What I'll do, what I do is I break it up into special groups and then I memorize little bits within that group. Like, okay, so we have, in the beginning, over time, they sort of compress over time in my head. So they um, compress into big groups when I memorize a section at a time. So let's see, I started out with um, 3.14159265358979323846264338. That's the first 31 decimals I memorised. So I started off by memorising them in little groups of three and six occasionally. But now, since that was so long ago, they just compressed into this big group. And it stops there. And then I start in the next group, which is. Two seven nine five zero two eight eight four one nine seven one six nine three nine nine three, and it stops. Let's see where it's three nine three. Yep. And then actually, also there's seven five one zero five eight two zero. Then that group stops there. 
but 0.52R is sort of like a little group within itself. So just like a little there, and so 751. As well as 3993, 169, and 197. So like they divided themselves into little groups like that, basically. And I chose 3993 as a group of four because it goes in a small pattern. 3993, it just repeats. So then you have like 974, 944, I remembered it like that. 592307, 8164, 062, 860, 899. Then I went 862, 803, 4825, 342117, 0679. I remember them like that, but it just continues going. And um, yeah, like 8214, 808, like that. And basically, I'll just, it just continues similar to that. When I get to 6095, there's another big division, because that's where I stop for a little bit. And then it goes 5058223172, gap 53594H128. Then there's sort of a bigger gap, because I realise this is where, like, this is the first time I saw three of the same number in the same area. So 48111745022, gap. 84102701193 is another little gap. A five two one one zero five 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 nine. Then it just it continues on like that, just for pretty much the rest of it. Okay. Now I've heard a rumor that if I give you ten numbers of pi, you can give me the ten numbers before it and the ten numbers after it. Yes, but they have to be between the spaces on that. Okay. Yeah. Well, so the camera can see it. Here is the list. I'm going to read off ten numbers of pi. One of these groups of ten. Uh, let's see now. 45432664821 and for the people looking at home it's that number there can I have the 10 numbers before and the 10 numbers after please okay the 10 numbers after is 34603486102 and after it is uh 13393607726 very impressive jaden that's correct yep okay just in case that was a fluke we'll try again let's have a look at the people at home that uh, actually we'll take that one there Eight nine one two two seven nine three eight one. Okay. Uh, after it is eight three zero one one nine four nine one two, and before it is, let me think. Oops. One eight eight five seven five two seven two four. Correct. Impressive. Very impressive. Okay, and you'll notice, by the way, he hasn't got the list in his hands. It's in. <laughs> it's in my hand here. Jaden, that is mightily impressive. So we're at now, what is it, December 14? Yep. January 30th next year, we'll see you back for year nine. Of course, yes. Where do you reckon you'll be up to? Well, I'm not sure, it's only six weeks, so I don't know, maybe if I tried really hard, I might be able to get to 2,000, but I'm thinking close to 1,500. Mm. Very impressive. You're interested in pursuing that? Or you have other things better to do in your life during a holiday? Well, like chasing after the dog? I don't actually have a pet dog, unfortunately I have allergies, but um, there are two main hobbies of mine is the pie and also there's flight simulator because I, I've always wanted to, I, I always, <laughs> I like to, I've always enjoyed sort of flying, so unfortunately since you can't really pay money to go on a plane every weekend, I just prefer to go on the flight simulator and have a go myself. Okay, last question from me. There is a website that you've told us about that is um, a competition. What's yes. the Australian record for reciting pi? 10,000. And you've got 850, okay. Yes. And what's the world record that you know of? Well, not the, the Guinness world record is 67,000. However, the recognised world record is 100,000 decimal places. 100,000 decimal places of pi. One more suggestion. Um, go to the Castle Hill Library the public library, the Bogham Hills one, the Shire Library. Uh, look for a book written by uh, one gentleman called Simon Singh about um, the code, okay, about the, um, the spy, spying world. And well, they try to scramble the numbers, the words, and then they try to de de scramble it, decipher it. If, since you have a, such a good memory and you can look at the pattern and try to do something there. It could be a good read for you mm -hmm. during this holiday. Yeah, 
We do have some Simon Sin books. I'll have a look and see if I have that one. Yep. But if not, I'll go in the library and see if I can. Not this library. Uh, they have sure, two or three no, books at uh, Castle Hill there. Yes, it's a very good reading. Okay. I strongly recommend that. Okay. Jaden, thank you very much. Have a good afternoon. Thank you.